Welcome to Profitability. Here you discover ideas, tactics, news, and information that matters to your small business and you. I'm your host, Ruth King. Thank you for joining us. Here is how we will help your business and you today. How do you get your customers' attention? No, really, how do you compete online with all of your competition who is clamoring for the same attention? My guest today, Stuart Atkins, gives you the things you must do to get attention and get your message heard. Stu founded Atkins Marketing Solutions in 2008, www.atkinsmarketingsolutions.com, a small and medium-sized business marketing consulting company located in Orange, California. Stuart helps businesses find their customers, tell their story, and audit their marketing. He's the author of two books, Winning the Battle for Attention, The Internet Marketing for Small Business, and Small Business Marketing, A Guide for Survival, Growth, and Success. Stu, welcome to Profitability. Thank you, Ruth. I appreciate you having me. And I'm showing everybody the book now. This is your latest book, correct? Winning the Battle for that, Attention. Cool. That's correct. That's correct. Okay, and the third one is Neglecting Regular Content. Now, this is, this is where I think small business owners have a problem. <coughs> Excuse me. It, it is. It is. Content definitely is king. Uh, in my book, I have an illustration, an idea I came up with. Instead of a crown on, on the king's head, I, I told the illustrator to put a keyboard. And uh, so, so content really is king. I have a great story to this I'd like to tell you quickly. Okay. In, in 2012, I wrote a blog post entitled The Product in the Toilet Seat. <laughs> the, reason, the reason why it has that name is one of the toilet seats failed in our house. My wife sent me to Home Depot. I went to Home Depot. I took a picture of that whole aisle full of toilet seats. I went home and I said, that's a great idea for a blog post. I wrote a blog post on commodity products. How do you build a better mousetrap? To make a long story short, the CEO of a $10 million toilet seat company read that blog post. He read my blog for two years. He bought my first book. And then in, in June of 2014, that, that CEO became a six-figure client Got it. That, that, that year for me all because of one blog post. So I've got close to 300 blog posts on my website. Writing on a continuous basis is gonna give you much more exposure organically. Google loves content. Number two, it, it establishes credibility for your brand, for your expertise, and you wanna write value-oriented posts at least two to three times a month if you can. It's extremely valuable and I, I didn't want to put a lid, on, lid, a lid on that issue, and I tried to flush it out with that, uh, <laughs> that great toilet seat uh, uh, company. But you just never know what's going to happen. Had I not written that one blog post, uh, I would have missed out on a six-figure client. Yeah, well, the reality is, is that you never, ever, ever know where your business is coming from. And the more you get out there, the better off you're going to be, no matter what your business is. So true. So yeah. true.